Hello and welcome to the video. In this video I will teach you how to build a battery pack, a 6S battery pack. Currently I have 6 cells, Molycell P50B, which are high current uh, cells. And the reason I'm doing this video is because I had some issues with, uh, with the packs in the past. Why do you need to solder your cells? So the main reason for that it's to be able to draw high currents from a small pack in different applications like EV cars or e-bikes or other devices that, that they have a big battery pack. You can put multiple cells in parallel and from those multiple cells in parallel you draw a little current from each one of the cells. So if you need for example 40 amps and you have four cells in parallel then you can get 10 amps from each one of them and the interconnection between the cells it can be done using copper sheet in between the cells and use the spot welder to to connect each individual cell to that main copper sheet now the manufacturer of the cell like samsung lg molycell they all not recommend to solder the cells they recommend spot welding but you can solder the cells if you know how to do it and you know what are you doing so if you don't know how to do it don't do it it's dangerous the cell might explode if you hit it too much and you can burn your house burn your uh, self and don't do it if you don't know what what are you doing so this was a perfectly good uh, battery pack you will tell me that yeah it it has two different type of cells but that's okay so it, it even had a bms on it and this is how it looks after I, uh, I draw like 50 amps from it. So the nickel strip got really hot. It, it was burning red hot, you know? And when it happened, it also melted some wires inside the plane. In order to avoid that, um, the nickel strip, it's not enough. You cannot use the spot welder to weld very thick nickel strip. And because of that, and because you have a high current pack you have to use copper because it has a lower resistance than nickel and what i tried with this pack it was to solder actually over the nickel strip i actually did a spot welded a strip and on top of that i soldered some wick copper wick which is pure copper and it should have lower resistance and you'll be able to to draw the the 50 amps after some calculation i ended up adding um, a couple of uh, wick strips maybe five around five in order to achieve at least 50 amps continuous current and this is John the the lab spider who was trying to, to catch a fly and eat it and he assisted me during building of the battery pack so congrats for John this is how you prepare the connector and solder the silicon wires so you hold the connector with the plier and put solder first on the wire and also on the connector and then solder them together after that you you can solder the wires directly to the pack so you have to be really careful not to hit the cell too much because the wire it's it's thick it will require preheating before soldering to the the cell itself so be careful do it with preheating and do it really quick you will have to use a high power uh, soldering iron for that 
in fact the plan uh, from the beginning was to build two packs so after i finished this one i had the idea why not using copper sheet pure copper and i was able to find some uh, copper sheet and i measure it eight millimeter wide and cut it cut it to the size and then prepare the new pack after i prepare the cells i put them in the in the cell holder that i 3d printed with two prepare the cells for soldering I just add solder to each of the the terminals of the of the cell do it fast not to heat up the cell too much good now uh, what you have to do now you take the the copper sheet you put solder on both ends and then you take it take care not to burn yourself and put it on the designated place on the top of the cells um, hit one end of it and put some pressure with some uh, you know metal instrument and hold it one or two seconds until it cools down it should cool down pretty fast and do the same for the for the other, for the other end while soldering the the cells i remember i have a thermal camera and i decided to use it and show you what's the temperature during soldering at the end of the cell and how fast it cools down how fast the copper sheets is cooling down and how fast the end of the cell is cooling down and how fast after you solder the copper sheet to the to the end of the cell so it will be pretty amazing now i will put the tip on the top of the cell and remove the soldering iron from the view of the camera so as you can see it already has 50 degrees celsius and counting down so the temperature drops pretty fast the heat transfer is very good inside the cell and it it cools down fast so already at 30 33 degrees celsius there you can even see the reflection on the table of the soldering iron for the rest of the connections you can do the same and proceed with caution do not heat it too much and let it cool down if you need to resolder the the connection and also be very careful not to do a short circuit between the ends of the cell and uh, mostly because you use metal tools to to work with the cell so careful not to do it because if you will do a short it will melt your uh, your tool and you might not be able to disconnect it if it if it gets welded so you'll destroy the cell at the end of the process you'll have to add some protection for the cells and you're gonna do this by using a heat shrink tube the blue stuff that's that will cover the cells there is an option to leave the cells without that it will helps cooling down the cells if you use it for a high current application but you can still use it like this it will offer some sort of protection and not being able to damage the cells that easily so to do that you put you actually cut the 
heat shrink tube to the to the size and then use a heat gun heat it all around until it wraps around the cells turn it turn it to the other side as well and uh, heat it up until it's uh, the surface it's uh, is smooth and then you're done the pack is done now this is the end result this is how it it looks inside the, the rc airplane and for the next video i will prepare a build for the atom rc penguin so stay tuned for the next video please subscribe and like the video thank you bye